Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 10 math exercise 5.2 question number 13. How many three digit numbers are divisible by 7? So first you should know how many three digit number. What is three digit number first? So it starts with 100 and it's end with 999. So these all are three digit numbers. Out of that all three digit number, we want to find out the number which are divisible by 7. So how we can find out that? So one by one we are going to divide 100, then 107, 101, 102 by 7. No, we are not going to do it, do it by that, but we are going to divide 100 by 7. And what we have to keep in mind? By hook or cook, we have to find take out the remainder 0. So first, 7 ones are 7. Now what will be 3 and 0. Now, I have to change this last number and I have to add the number in this so that it is perfectly divisible by 7. So here 30 is there. So after 30, which number is perfectly divisible by 7? 35. So instead of this 0, if I put 5 here and 5 here, so this will be get perfectly divisible 7, 5 is 35. So we will get remainder 0, 0. So look here, what we got here, 0, 0. So our first number that is divisible by 7 will be 1, 0. That will be our AP's first term. Now what will be the second term? Just we have to add 7 in it. So that will be our second term that is 1, 1, 2. Then again 8, 7, 1, 1. So this way we can, we don't need, no need of finding all the terms, but we have to find out the last term also. Again, I am going to do the same thing. But now this time I had added number. Now the, here I am going to subtract number from last. Look here. 9, 9, 9 divided by 7. So 7, 1 is 7. 29, 4 is 28. Now 19. 19 is there, so we have to subtract. So what I will subtract from 19, so that it will be divisible perfectly by 7. If I subtract 5 from 19, instead of 9, if I had taken 4 here. So 9 and 4, so 14 will come here, and 7 to the 14. So here I am getting the perfect number divisible by 7. So this 9, 9, 4 is our last number. 9, 9, 4. Now this is our area. Now what they told us, find out how many three digit numbers are divisible. We want to find out n, how many numbers are there. So this is our AP and with the help of this, we can find out a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So a n that is 9, 9, 4, a that is 1, 0, 5 plus n we want to find out minus 1. And what will be the difference? We know we had added 7 in it. So our difference will be 7 only. Now take this one, 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 105 on that side and this will become 7n minus 7. So subtraction 14 minus 5, 9 and this 8 and this 8, 9 minus 1, 8. So that again this minus 7 will come here, this will be plus 7 and this will be 7. So this 9, 10, 16, carry 1, 9, 8 divided by 7 is equal to and I had taken this in the denominator. Now cancel it. 7, 7 means 7, again 1, 9, 19, 2 is 14, 14, 56, so 7, 8 is 56, 8. So n is equal to 128. So there are total 128 terms of 3 digit numbers which are divisible by 7. So, moving towards the next question, question number 14. How many multiples of 4 lies between 0 and 250? Sorry. Question number 14. How many multiples of 4 lies between 10 and 250? So, between 10 and 250 multiple of 4. So, directly we come to know that we don't have to take this 10 and this 250 because between they had told us and then what will be our first number that is multiple of 4 after 10 we know that is 12 
after 12 our first multiple after 10 our first multiple of 4 will be 12 do not 12 table then to after 12 16 then 20 then dot 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 and before 250 which number is that that is divisible by 4 again i am going to do the same thing 250 divided by 4 6 are 24 and it's 1010 instead of 10 if i would have got here 8 it would be having perfectly divisible by 4 so instead of 250 if i will take 248 look so it's 4 6 are 24 and 0 0 and this 8 will come here 4 6 4 2 is 8 and here 0 so our last number that is divisible by 4 that is 248 now this will be our AP and we have to find out how many terms are there so we have to find out n again the same formula n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is 248 is equal to a that is 12 plus n we want to find out and our difference is plus 4 now subtract 248 minus 12 is equal to 4n minus 4 so 6 3 now this minus 4 will come here this will become plus 4 and this will become 240 by 4 is equal to n so 60 total 60 numbers are there between 10 and 250 which are divisible by 4 n is equal to 60 so this way we can solve this thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos to you